Why have I done this? Urgh, you mother... <laughs> Marble Madness, probably one of the most ported games in history. Seriously, this game started as an arcade game designed by Mark Cerny and published by Atari Games in 1984, has seen numerous home releases ranging from MS-DOS, younger viewers ask your parents, all the way to the Game Boy Advance. However, the version I'm going to be talking about today is the version ported to the Nintendo Entertainment System by Rare. Yes, that Rare. So without further ado, let's roll into the world of Marble Madness. This game has the simplest idea in the world. The goal is to get the marble from A to B in a set amount of time. Sounds easy, right? Wrong. What begins as a pleasant journey of ease quickly turns into the greatest challenge you will ever be faced with. That's right, move over Dark Souls, Marble Madness is here. The graphics are simple, clean and very colourful, and the music is a true compliment to the game, adding tension at all the right moments. However, be aware if you are playing other ports, the music is a very different story. The game itself is quite short, and can be completed in as quickly as 5 minutes to an experienced player. However, make no mistake, once you finish that first level, the time limit becomes a reality, and every move you make is critical. You are offered multiple ways to play. First of all is the control type. You can choose between 90 and 45 degree angles, which changes the amount of control you have. Personally, I prefer the 90 degree control, as I feel you can navigate with increased precision. The second way to play is two player simultaneous multiplayer. You thought single player was a challenge, now try beating your friend to the finish line. This mode can be brutal, as you can hinder your opponent all the way for the reward of 5 extra seconds for coming in first place on the current course. Now, although the game is visually pleasing, the levels are the craftsmanship of pure evil. The game is designed for you to fail, and here is why I think that. The game is based around angle play. Every corner, every ramp, every turn is not just a straight left or right. And this is because you view the map from an angled perspective. This can lead to some very frustrating moments, where had the viewpoint been switched, you would have breezed through the level. I mean, yes, we all love a challenge, but believe me when I say that this is one of the few games that can make even me rage. However, with a bit of practice, you will soon learn that the controls are so refined, which is impressive when you consider this was originally made for a trackball, and not an NES D-pad. So, you are probably asking, Rage, is Marble Madness a good game or a bad one? Well, in truth, I believe it is a good game, one which will keep you coming back trying to best the challenge. However, more importantly, I think this game can be enjoyed today. I feel it would be great as a mobile game to pass the time. So, because of that, I give Marble Madness the score of... Marble Madness. It's a short and simple game about a marble that will drive you mad. But in a good way. Did you enjoy this review? Looking forward to the next one? Let me know your thoughts on this one and let me know what you'd like to see me review next. And if you're new, I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button too. Thanks for watching, and of course, bye!